Well, hello, hello, hello. Today, it's a different day. I'm taking a break from painting windows because the weather's kind of crapping out and it's raining and drizzling and raining and drizzling. Uh, but I got a message from a gentleman called Nick from a motorcycle shop that um, if, well, not from him per se, it was from our mutual acquaintance, you saw Dan, nicknamed aka Teapot. Um, he messaged me that Nick is selling a lathe and uh, if I want it, I'm just like, what? What? Of course I want it. So um, that's what we're getting. We're getting a lathe. A metal lathe. I've been looking at it or getting one for ages, but um, um, yeah, I didn't have a space or they were expensive or no right time. And I still don't have a space, but it's an offer I could not refuse. So um, yeah, let's get it. Let's get a metal lathe. Well, project, we have a new project coming up with a chopper, so I will definitely need it. And I've been craving to do stuff. So, um, man, I'm kind of excited. Uh, let's have a look. I just have to drive over the hill, taking my little trusty youth. I washed it, so uh, we're ready to go. All right, let's get on the go. Get my little youth up the hill. <laughs> I have never taken it up the hill. Um, she's just been a little mucky about around the village, so uh, we'll see if uh, we make it. Well, if we make it up the hill and then down the hill, then load the. Uh, 300 kilogram or so, whatever it is, um, we lay it on and then drive it all the way back. Um, yeah, it'll be a little test. Uh, let's see. Come on, little baby. Come on, little baby. You can do it. You can climb up this hill. Do it. Here we go, here we are arriving to uh, uh, Upper Hut, to the New Zealand Motorcycle Centre. Uh, Nick has his workshop in here, so uh, uh, let's do it, let's load the uh, lights up. He got it ready for me, um, he has a nice little uh, crane, mini crane to help me put it up, we tarped it up. And All right, we are loaded up. Lathe is on. It's a um, cute little lathe, but it'll do for now. And uh, I think I don't really need to do big things. I think it's gonna be just perfect to do uh, small things for the bike. So um, exciting. I have some tools to get me started and um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, this is a bit of a mission, try to do it by yourself. On the other side we had a nice little uh, lift, what is it called, a uh, jack, like a freaking over that top to load it up on the ute, but the ute is so damn high, how the hell do you get it off the ute by yourself? Um, uh, we uh, 
was man I managed to um, link it three times over back and forth to get a more leverage and uh, gently ease it up down and a half so I can bring it out inside uh, into the garage out of the rain uh, so now we have it here um, now I undid all the screws so the plan is to take the frame out and hopefully um, the whole thing will be okay um, it's free okay and it doesn't fall on me shit you do eh? all right let's see what i can get I'm calling it a day today. <laughs> well, I'm uh, pretty spent doing this by myself, but um, we're getting there. Um, she's back on a table, youth's out. I have a couple bolts to do, a couple, you know, this one to put through, which is a bit bent now. Tight, tighten this up and tighten all the small, small bolts in. And then uh, we'll have a figure out where I'm gonna put it. Uh, measure it whether I can clear up and put it in here. Or, um, well, I'm trying to sell my beamer. Whether I put the lathe there or um, where it is gonna go. I haven't really thought that far. So it's just, you know, these things, it came up. So I jumped on it, so I have a life. Um, but it's, um, I, I give it a little blowout and clean up. Uh, it's an um, old uh, lin, lin lathe. And um, I'll have to figure the shit up, how things work. But uh, yeah, um, it is what it is. Okay, continue tomorrow. Well, hello, hello. Another day. We are uh, on our life today. So I have moved things around, but I've been uh, trying to get my uh, motorcycles uh, not registered, but it's a warrant. I don't know what you call it in the States, but uh, you have to comply with all the regulations and making sure they are all good so I took the red one out so she's all signed off I took the Triumph over there so she's all good I was gonna take the Beamer uh, but when I washed the bike I have uh, left the key on <laughs> on the park so she was totally flat and I just couldn't get her started so she's on the charger and then I have the blue one yet to do, so two more to go, hopefully tomorrow, but it started pouring down. So my feet and everything are kind of drenched and I can't do what I wanted to do. So um, I'm gonna go back to um, the lathe and uh, get it all tied down and I turn the compressor on and give it all clean up and oil everything up. And then um, I have a plan what I want to do as my first little mini project. So um, that's exciting. I have a thing to make. <laughs> so uh, yeah. 
So let's get into tie, tying this thing up. Alright, so um, we are pretty much set up. I have uh, shimmed the tool so it's right in the center of the stock. And um, I'm going to um, take the corner in at the top so it's nice and smooth because I just chopped it with the grinder. And I'm gonna take a bit of. Um, I'm gonna make some random shit so. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I just wanna have a go. So uh, let's do it. Yeah, I was just wondering what is the, I have to do a bit of reading, what is the perfect angle of the tool to go against the stock? Um, but, um, yeah, it's beautiful, I really, I really love it, it's uh, so much fun, I uh, can't wait to uh, come back to this, I have to do some other shit now, but yeah, let's get back to this soon. made this little step down thing so uh, that's gonna be a sleeve and now I'm gonna tap uh, M10 thread on it so I can put a bolt on I'm gonna change the gear ratio and see if I can turn this very very slow so I don't have to hold hold the um, stuff by hand so um, Still pretty quick. Hmm. Never mind. I'll do it by hand. All right, so that'll finish our first adventure into the lathe territory. And uh, what is it you made, you ask? I made this, a tiny little thing, and this top part spins. So, um, the new camera I bought, you can buy a handle to make this cool little video shit stuff. And uh, the handle is expensive. And I thought, well, okay, I'll make one since I can. So I made it. So, wait, I'll put you into my 
thing. So you have the stick. The stick connects. I want undo. Bear with me. So stick connects. And then you can go. Whoa! <laughs> I know it's stupid, but. Uh, well, I just wanted to have fun on the lathe and I made a funky little thing. I never done anything like this before, so um, this is it. And um, this is what it looks like. Well, thank you for watching this episode. Um, it's a non-motorcycle one, but it is kind of part of the journey, what I'm doing. And uh, I'm super excited to have to have the lathe and uh, with this new project, I want to manufacture more things myself and um, just see where it takes me. You know, if it's a win, it's a win. If it's a lo it's a fail, it's a fail. But um, we'll get there. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this random episode, and uh, you know what to do. Send the gray. If you have lathes, um, tell me what lathe you got um, and what you do. If you have any pointers on tools, uh, what I need, um, how. Well, I'm doing everything wrong, I assume. So. Feel free to say how I should organize my shit and um, also where I should put the damn light. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there is not much room in the garage. Um, I was thinking to go there, but no. Uh, it's nice space for a bike, so I'll have to figure something out. I can't have it just in the middle. Maybe put it in a casters? <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, um, yeah. Shit, I'm mumbling. Uh, press your buttons, say good day, say hello, and I'll see you on the next one. Be good. See you later.